The Jenny Mama Show presents Hey there, I'm Chris, and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert our one car garage into a haunted house. As you can see, we, uh, we have our two car garage, and we will be converting it into a mini stage for us to perform, or for me to perform my magic show on Halloween night. So let me show you what's inside our one car garage. So, uh, so here we have all this mess inside our garage, and before we can start building our haunted house, we're going to clean all of this out. So over here is our patio. And we're going to convert our patio into this really long uh, walkway uh, to our one car garage, or also known as our hot house. Okay, and we're, and we're going to try to make this, hot, uh, we're going to try to make this hot, uh, walkway in, into a really spooky place. Okay, and it keeps going all the way to the front of our house, and over, and over here is the back door to our one car garage. So let me show you the inside. So as you can see, this is, this is the inside. And it's very messy, just, just like how I showed you in the front. We have our pool table, we got boxes in the back, we got three windows, and there's our garage door. So before we can start building our haunted house, we're gonna clean all of this out. All right, so let's begin. So as you can see, our one car garage is finally empty. We have three windows here. We have an eight foot uh, garage door. Uh, we have a storage here, and we're not gonna move it because there's too, much, too many stuff for us to move. And then we have a back door, and then the ceiling is about uh, nine feet tall. All right, so before we start building our haunted house, we're gonna plan it out. Okay, so this is our floor plan for our one car garage. It's 12 feet by 20 feet. These thick lines right here is our garage walls. Then these are the three windows. We have our back door, we have our uh, cabinet, we have, and we have our garage door opening. Uh, so before we start uh, building our, our hot house, we need to put posts here, 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 and here. And, uh, and they'll be attached to the ceiling. Uh, these posts will be used as support, so uh, these walls uh, won't fall when we put them up. We have about, uh, we have about eight walls. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they will be about three feet apart um, so people can walk, uh, can walk through. So, uh, right here we have these wiggly lines and these are our curtains for, um, for each uh, area. Now, when people enter our haunted house, they're gonna start at the back door, which is our entrance. Then they're gonna walk through and they're gonna stop at the first curtain. Then they're gonna take, enter it and they're gonna take left and keep walking and they'll hit the second curtain. Then they're gonna continue walking, and then they'll hit the third uh, curtain, and then they'll walk through it, then they'll hit the first, fourth curtain, then they'll keep going, and then they'll hit the fifth, and then they'll keep going, keep going, and then they'll hit the last curtain, uh, which leads them out of our haunted house. Uh, the walkway is about three feet apart, and that's just enough room for, ev for everybody to walk through the haunted house. The reason why we have curtains is because uh, it helps slow down people from rushing through our haunted house. And it also acts as a, as a surprise, so, peop uh, so people won't know what's behind the curtains. Okay? So each walkway has a different Halloween theme. Some will have strobe lights, some will be dark, and there will be, other, and there'll be other creatures there too. We have about five PVC pipes uh, that we got from Home Depot, and we got them for about three to four dollars each. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna, we're gonna attach these uh, to the ceiling and they're gonna act as posts. So when we attach uh, the walls uh, to them, they won't fall down, okay? So, as you can see, I'm holding a two inch diameter uh, PVC pipe. And what we did was we attached these angle clips uh, to each end of the pipe. So, there are, uh, so there are three uh, angle clips here and, and these ones are gonna be attached to the ceiling. Then on the other end, we have, two, we have two angle clips, and these are going to be used uh, to help <clears throat> to help keep the um, PVC pipe flat against the ground. All right, so let's start attaching these posts. So 
So as you can see, we attach the PVC pipe, uh, PVC post to the ceiling, and it is completely solid. All right, it, and it won't, it won't move. All right, so make sure you're there. And then we did the same thing over here to, to this one. See, it won't move. Completely solid. And then same thing for the third post. It's completely solid, just like the other two. But this one, we actually do something else. As you can see, we have a PVC pipe a crossbar at the top. And what we did was that we used a strap type uh, and we attached it to the garage door track here. And then we did one, the same thing over here. Okay. And that's how we were able to keep the uh, PVC pipe crossbar to stay up. And then what we did was we took a shorter PVC post and we attach it to the PVC pipe crossbar and now it, uh, now it is completely soft. Alright, see? And because we did that, the garage door is able to move, um, uh, move and open, uh, open and close uh, freely without being locked. So now we're going to start building the walls. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, we built one of the, uh, one of the walls for the haunted house. We, it's made out of cardboard. And we got car and we got these cardboard from a recycle center uh, for free. It's about two or three layers. And what we did was we took these three quarter inch PVC pipes and we wrapped it around like, on the top, and then on the side, then at the bottom. And we used this PVC elbow uh, to connect all of them uh, all all around. Yeah, then we also added some PVC pipes in the middle, uh, just like this one, and and there's one here. Then there's one right here, and we use this PVC T elbow, uh, so we can attach all of them together from top to bottom. And then we what we did was that we took these uh, strap ties, like this one here, here, here. And we, have, and we did the same thing on the inside. See, so like this one here, we did this one here, and we strapped that all around, uh, all around the uh, PVC pipes, uh, attaching it to the cardboard. And because we did that, the wall is now sturdy and, and solid. We covered our uh, Halloween wall with this uh, decorative Halloween wall wall plastic. And you can get uh, this decorative uh, Halloween uh, plastic wall at, uh, at your favorite Halloween store, online, or you can create your own. So as you can see, we wrapped it all around the front, and then we did the same thing on the back. We used a, a spray glue, uh, which, we got from, well, uh, which we got from Home Depot for about two or three dollars, and, and we sprayed it along the cardboard, and then we just attached the plastic wall uh, to it. Okay. So the reason, the reason why we built a saw wall instead of a curtain type wall was because I've seen in some people's haunted houses a curtain which is hanging from the ceiling and that would technically be their wall. Uh, people would tend to get the idea uh, to just walk through them and it's not solid. So our wall is solid and, and, the, reason why it's, and the reason why it's solid is because people, we can control the, people, uh, the way people walk through our haunt, the haunted house. And, and, uh, uh, and they'll get the idea that it's solid and they can't walk through it. Okay? So now that we've built one wall, we're gonna go build some more walls and attack and put them all up. Alright, so let's get started. So as you can see, we built all eight walls for the haunted house, and uh, they're they're and they're pretty solid. Okay. Solid. 